this episode of Sports Science. The greatest athletes in the world rocket into orbit. And science rides shotgun. We'll push the highest flyers in basketball, like LeBron James and Michael Jordan to their limit, as we find out if game time is real. We get big air with NFL superstar Chad Johnson and analyze the man with the greatest hands in the history of the game, Jerry Rice. And we'll see what the highest flyers in basketball can really jump over. We're analyzing athletes from the inside to the upside downside. And we're gonna answer the ultimate question. Who are the highest flyers in sports? Gravity gets a beat down. Sports science, human flight. Launches now. In this former airplane hangar, we created a one-of-a-kind laboratory, a high-tech facility with one purpose, to analyze the best athletes in the world. The cutting edge of science, the limits of human performance, the science at work in the games we play. This is where sports and science collide. This is Sports Science. stop in our quest to find the highest flyers in sports, basketball. Are these guys supermen? Can they fly? Leap tall buildings in a single bound? Uh, no. But that made us wonder, what can these supermen jump over? To find out what the highest flyers in basketball can really leap in a single bound, we brought in the best street baller on the planet, Skywalker. Chris Skywalker Lowry is a New York City baller and slam dunk champion whose nickname reflects his astonishing vertical leap. The average athlete, like sports science team leader John Brunkus, has a vertical leap of 24 inches. Elite pro ballers have a vertical leap in the low to mid 40s. Skywalker's vertical leap, a mind blowing 50 inches. This is what a 50 inch vertical leap looks like. So how does he do it? What forces are at play to launch a human 50 inches above the Earth? We have the questions. Our scientists have the technology to get the answers. This is the TechScan F-Scan system. And this is a sensor that's designed to measure pressures and forces inside the shoes. So we're gonna cut these sensors and put them inside his shoes and each sensor has over 900 sensing elements that can measure pressures at over 500 samples per second. The TechScan F-Scan system will allow our scientists to gather instant data on Skywalker's leap. I took a lot of math classes. <laughs> that's, that's really incredible. To put Skywalker's 50-inch vertical leap to the test, we had to raise the bar. So we set the bar at 5 feet 8 inches. Okay, so you're going to clear me. You're going to jump clear of me. You're not nervous. I am not nervous. I am going to stare straight forward. I have full confidence that you're going to clear me. I have absolutely no confidence in what's going to happen.
Get up. Get up! The data from our sensors is astonishing. Here's the run-up. This is where Skywalker actually takes off. You've got a big peak here at around 9 Gs. So 9 G minus 1 G, we're looking at about 8 Gs above Earth's gravity. Put another way, Skywalker generates 1,400 pounds of force. That's enough force to get off the ground with the entire starting lineup of the Detroit Pistons on his back. Granted, he couldn't get much air, but for a nanosecond, he could get off the floor. Okay, so Skywalker can leapfrog a human, but we wanted to see what else a guy with a 50-inch vertical leap could jump. We had to push Skywalker to his limit, so we rolled in a bigger obstacle to park in the paint. When we're lining up the car, we're all kind of looking at this saying, there is no way he's going to jump over this. What are you going to do? You're taking off from right where? Taking off from right here, and I'm going to finish. Skywalker wasn't expecting such an extreme test when he entered our lab. Now he has to step his game up way up. Now that's driving the lane. To get an inside look at Skywalker's 50-inch vertical leap, we wired him up with high-tech motion capture sensors from Vicon House of Moves. This is not a computer simulation. This is Skywalker's actual jump. The car is over five feet wide and almost three feet to the top of the doors. To clear it, Skywalker has to use every inch of his vertical leap. As he approaches the car, Skywalker lowers his center of gravity. Muscles fire, lower back, glutes, quads, and calves, linking together to drive his energy down into the court. The result? Lift off. At the peak of his flight, Skywalker's hand is over 11 feet above the court and he had to travel just as far horizontally. All this adds up to an easy two. So the answer to the question, what can the highest flyers really jump over? It's that thing parked in your driveway. Up next, is gravity a law or a suggestion? We'll push the highest flyers in basketball like LeBron James and Michael Jordan to their limit as we find out if hang time is real. We'll take flight with the greatest wide receiver in NFL history, Jerry Rice. Like put me to the test. Our science boggles Ocho Cinco's mind. How do you do that? And later, ever have that dream that you're flying? These guys are living the dream. Who are the highest flyers in sports? We've got the answer on Sports Science, Human Flight.